Hey guys, it is Jackie from Cruising the Sierra Farm and you caught me at the dining room table. I'm here to have a semi-short conversation with you guys. Um, and I wanted to bring it to you guys because there's going to be some change. Um, I started my channel um, several years ago. I didn't know anything about YouTube at the time. I came on in the effort to have a platform to upload larger videos that I was unable to send to family, for instance, my mom, um, kids that were all over the United States, our kids, um, with things that were going on or uh, this, that, and the other with our children. And um, email back several years ago was um, very difficult to upload and send without breaking it apart in pieces. And I truly just didn't know how to do that. And so I used YouTube as a platform to upload longer videos and be able to send the family links to easily view those. I didn't know anything about monetizing. Um, I didn't know what a content creator was. Um, and then a few years later, um, Honestly, I'm not even sure how many years later I would have to go back and look, but our youngest graduated, or so many people have such an issue with the word graduated from eighth grade, um, promotion, let's just call it a promotion ceremony. And they, here locally, they have a promotion ceremony from eighth grade to, uh, to high school. Um, at the time, our oldest um, together, uh, my husband has three from his first marriage and then we have three together. So our oldest together, uh, is in the military and he wanted to surprise his brother at his graduation. And so he coordinated that through the school and, um, that video went absolutely crazy viral. And, um, I still didn't know anything about monetizing. I had no idea. I just shared, um, a video to be able to have a link to send a family that wasn't able to be there at the graduation and it went crazy. Okay. So I ended up having a ton of, um, subscribers to my channel because of that video. Then fast forward a few years, or a couple years at least, um, and I had to upload video to my channel to be able to uh, put content on our youngest boys' like recruiting profile. For colleges to take a, be able to take a look at him, I needed a platform, and the platform was YouTube, which was in conjunction with the, that's my dishwasher telling me I need to put the dishes away now. And it makes, you'd think that the ice cream man was coming and it's not. <laughs> anyway, so I truly didn't know anything about YouTube except that it allowed me to upload longer length video to family all over. Okay, so then I ended up meeting somebody within a craft group that I belong to, um, online craft group, and that person um, had started a YouTube channel with her crafts, and then all of a sudden got monetized, and I was like, I was following her, and I was following her YouTube, and I didn't know anything about anything, and I saw a video of her actually getting the notification that she was um, okay to be monetized and I was like what does that mean and so I reached out to her and she explained to me and I'm like well I have a YouTube um, 
and she's like, well, you have to have so many subscribers and you have to have so many hours of video watched. And so I went and looked and I was like, well, I have that. And she's like, what are you doing? You need to monetize your channel. So I did, um, following her instructions. And um, so I don't even remember what kind of content. I mean, everything was just so jumbled because of everything that I do. And now let me tell you that I refer to myself as Jackie of all trades and master of none. <laughs> I love to do everything, everything. If I see something I've never tried before, I want to try it. Well, if, at least if it intrigues me, right? So I have all sorts of hidden talents that have come to fruition. I had no idea that I loved to work with wood. And um, I had no idea that I loved to work with resin and create amazing artwork. Um, I love working with um, raw steel and doing artwork with raw steel. Um, I have so many different things that I truly enjoy. One of them is creating in the kitchen. I love to create, let's just say that. Um, I am constantly asked um, with my social media, um, oh, do you have a recipe for that? Like if I post what we're having for dinner. And honestly, it, it's gotten to the point where I feel horrible that I, I have to always respond with, no, I'm sorry, I don't. I don't, I just create, I just enjoy creating with what I have available. And so it's hard for me to turn people away because I don't know how to tell them what I just did. Um, but I think that so many people struggle with um, allowing their creativity to um, and they might not think that they're creative at all, or they might think that there's no way, I'm never gonna be a good cook. Well, you don't have to be a good cook, you just have to be willing to experiment. So, in saying this, I've really struggled. Yes, I've posted some cooking videos, but so he, okay, so I've gotta go back a little bit. So, back when I, first got monetized, um, shortly thereafter is when, um, like a couple years later is when COVID hit. COVID changed so many people's lives, right? So many people's lives. And here truly, we didn't know, I had quit my, my day job. It was a toxic environment. Um, and I came home to do what I love and that's create, right? Um, but all of the subscribers that I had had at that point were all based off of, I mean, I had already had followers cause they were my friends and whatever, but all of a sudden I had so many people wanting to follow because of that video. Now come to COVID and all of the changes that happened here. I mean, you'd have to go back and scroll through a lot of videos to see what we started with and where we're at now. Um, it has always been my goal to make our property work for us. Um, I, when COVID hit, I brought it home. I brought it home. I try to grow and raise and make as much stuff as I can myself without having to go to the grocery store. I despise the grocery store now. Um, and so I gained a whole, it took me a long time to gain enough followers that were interested in my homesteading and my gardening and my raising of my chickens and the raising of my meat rabbits and the greenhouse and all of the composting that I do um, because I have to check out the video for that. Um, I have to grow 
uh, or sorry, I have to make our own soil to grow in because we live on nothing but solid ground of uh, rock from a volcanic eruption from many years ago that just had a pyroclastic flow that that is directly right underneath my house and my entire property. And um, so I'm sure there's loads of great minerals under me, but not able to dig in this stuff and grow in it. So I have to make my own soil. So like so much has changed here. So when I, I mean like literally daily, I'm getting new requests. You need to start doing cooking videos. I would love to learn how to make what you do or I would love to learn about your sourdough. Well, shoot, I'm still learning about sourdough, but I'm willing to take that plunge and learn and, and learn by mistake. Trust me, I killed my first batch um, that I tried to start and um, had to rely on friends to, to boost me and, and guide me. And I feel now super confident in, um, but it's taken trial and error, you know? But anyway, um, I had started another YouTube channel a few years ago when I was really deep into crafting um, art. Uh, and then that's when I started really getting people going, oh, you should do some cooking videos for us. And then I started to change that channel to both cooking and the crafting. And then I really stepped away from the crafting and the arts lately. Well, since COVID and, um, and that makes me sad. I do need to get back to that, but I truly think that so much requests for me to do cooking videos has been even more so of a guiding force to make the decision you're going to do this. Okay. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. I was too afraid to jumble up my current cruise on the cruise on the Sierra farm with cooking videos and then lose a whole bunch of subscribers or just the, maybe they still stay subscribed, but they're just not interested in the whole cooking thing. They want to learn about more about the chickens and the rabbits and the compost and the gardening and the greenhouse growing. And that's more their style of desire to learn, right? Or to follow. So I made the decision to go ahead and push the cooking to the other channel. I've had lots of friends reach out to me over the years, go, hey, what's happening in the cruise kitchen? Cruise is my last name. So now maybe you understand cruising. Cruising meaning like C-R-U-I-S-I-N apostrophe, cruising. But it's my last name, K-R-U-S, and then I-N for like cruising, like we're cruising. Um, it was a play on words. Anyway, so I always hear what's happening in the cruise kitchen. Um, so the channel, and I hope um, that I can maybe interest you in following that channel as well. It is called Cruise, K-R-U-S-E, in the kitchen. Cruise in the kitchen. So that is going to be where I'm going to begin uploading nothing but cooking content, creating in the kitchen content. Um, I may um, incorporate freeze drying videos because this has become an integral, integral part of my cooking and creating in the kitchen. Um, this guy over here, our VacMaster VP210 chamber vacuum sealer, um, it kind of works into the whole kitchen theme too. Um, I have done, like I said, I have done the cooking videos in the past, but the way that my kitchen is set up, where my stove is, it's kind of like towards a dark corner 
corner of my kitchen and I have no way, I'm sitting here looking at it, I have no way to truly set up a good um, video option. Um, like I said, it's in a dark corner and there's nowhere to really truly set up to where you could see what's happening. And so I invested in a contraption that could fit on my dining room table to be able to do overhead or straight at me. And then I also, um, hang on and let me grab it. I'll show you what I got. I invested in this. I hope it's not backwards, um, but this is a Elite Gourmet Electric Double Buffet Burner. Um, and so that's what I'm gonna be cooking on right here on the dining room table where I have, I have lots of space to set things. I have uh, natural light coming from the left with my big sliding glass door and it's perfect. It's perfect. Um, if I'm doing a video on um, freeze drying, my freeze dryer is right here. I don't have to stop and grab my camera and move it way over here. All I gotta do is just aim it over at the freeze dryer. Um, it's amazing. So this is gonna be my setup and um, I'm gonna, it's gonna have to be starting all over with a whole new, now don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna be uploading videos to Christmas Year Farm. That is still a huge passion of mine and will always be. Um, I love inspiring other people. Like for instance, uh, last night um, I had posted on, um, I had made sourdough cinnamon rolls for the first time ever. Um, not my first rodeo with sourdough, but with the cinnamon rolls it was. And I posted some, you know, shots throughout the process. And um, I had a gal that I went to high school with that reached out and said to me um, that she's amazed by everything that I do and that she's living her homesteading dream through me. And that hit me in the feels because that's exactly what my channel was meant to do is to inspire others. Um, because even if it, even if it's just, um, well, let's just take it a step further. She's asked me for some of my sourdough discard. So that is one step that she's making towards making a difference in her family. And and baking for her family. I, I truly am a believer that we all need to get back to the basics. Um, like we grow so much of our food. I don't like even stepping foot in the grocery store. My husband does most of the shopping if we have shopping to do for like dairy. We don't, but a dairy cow's in the works. It's just gonna take a while that she's taking that step of wanting to provide because I literally don't know um, if my kids were still at home and I and COVID hadn't hit, I'd be going through the same exact thing that so many others are going through right now, trying to figure out what bill can I put off to be able to buy groceries for my family, um, buy gas, oh my gosh. Um, I'm in the worst state in the union for gas prices and uh, um, my husband's job requires him to drive up and down our valley multiple times a week and um, I just couldn't imagine trying to raise a family in this state um, meaning not my state that I live in but the state our union is in it's horrible it's scary. Um, yeah, I, I could, I don't know. I don't know where my, where my psyche would be at that point, my mental state. I don't know. I don't know how I'd be feeling, but 
taking that one step, um, which is huge, huge is start cooking from scratch. Make a difference. Start cooking from scratch. Um, I will be doing a, uh, a video soon that it's honestly, it's been in the work since September maybe. Um, but I was hoping to interview a couple more people and, and it'd be for this channel um, on, on different changes people can make. But I might actually, I might be incorporating it into the new channel uh, just because I think it's, uh, um, I think it's important. Like a lot of people don't know um, that we do have options more than just our uh, local grocery stores. So, and you know, once a month runs to Costco if you're not near one or Sam's Club or where, wherever you are, whatever large um, box store that has groceries. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I'm here to let you guys know that I am pretty much starting all over with a, a another channel that is going to be devoted to cooking. I don't want to lose people's interest because they're inundated with a whole bunch of cooking videos and all they want to see is my gardening and homesteading stuff. Even though they truly go hand in hand, I just think that this is going to be the better avenue. So my other YouTube channel used to have go by a different name, um, but I've recently changed it. Well, it's been like a month or two ago that I changed it. So, like I said, cruise in the kitchen. K-R-U-S-E in the kitchen. All right. So, I would love it if you would go over there and subscribe. And, um, and click that notification bell so that you'll be alerted when I do upload a new video. Um, I appreciate you all so very much. Um, I... I'm not going to lie, I have seen, and it brings my heart so much joy because I love going in and looking at the analytics in, in my YouTube channel. It is so interesting for me to see, like it, it breaks it down by age group, male, female, um, the location, meaning like just the country that most of my views are coming from, um, and, and watching things change and, um, you know, one video about something that you wouldn't expect would go crazy, goes crazy. And then another that you think that people are going to like and there only ends up being like 30 views. And it's like, it's okay. It's okay. I enjoy putting out what I do. I enjoy sharing with everybody. Um, and so... I just thank each and every one of you that have viewed my videos, shared my videos, um, that comment on my videos. All of that is so super helpful. The like, the little thumbs up, that helps the channel greatly. Um, but if it helps me be able to teach others to be comfortable um, cooking in their own kitchen, and creating amazing things for their families, then, then my goal has been reached. Um, I want people to feel more comfortable and cook with love. Just simply create, have fun with it. And um, you know, if, if it wasn't so good this time, switch up an ingredient here and there and try to make it better. Um, I just, Again, the request has been there for me for a very long time. You need to have your own cooking show. <laughs> you need to give us lessons. <laughs> um, I do have quite a few people asking, um, like that have no clue how to preserve and water bath can and pressure can. And honestly, like I've been water bath canning for a long time. It's only been the last two years that I've gotten involved in pressure canning. I love it. I love to prepare and put together quart jars of pre-made meals 
and like with meat in it and everything and literally all you do is dump it into a pan and heat it up it's wonderful so i would like to get to a point where i'm also teaching you little bits and pieces that i know so that's one of the things that i would really love to do as well um, but that's the goal of the channel is to make you all comfortable in your kitchen to learn to create with me my biggest and greatest payment is the comments like I got last night. Um, and I've gotten lots of them over the past couple years and it's so inspiring. And that's exactly what my point is, is to inspire others to do what I'm doing. Um, anyway, if you guys have any, um, any questions, whether it be about the new channel or something that you would like to see me touch on more that interests you, um, feel free to put it in the comment section below. I pay attention to all of my comments and, and activity uh, and all of my analytics. So um, I welcome you to do that. Um, I like engaging with uh, people that are, are watching um, and I try super hard to ignore the people that are rude. Um, but it always hits me in the feels sometimes. I really appreciate you guys, and I hope you have a fantastic day. So till the next video. Um, oh, really quick. If you go to Cruise in the Kitchen right now, there's actually already uploaded videos on some of the things um, that I enjoy making here. Um, there's some... There's some zucchini fritters. I think there's some kind of... Uh, pesto dish. There's a hummus. My homemade hummus is amazing. Um, our youngest has loved it for a very long time. It's a spinach hummus. Um, and I don't make hummus the traditional way. Um, I don't use tahini. Um, I use Greek yogurt and other, well, go watch the video and you'll see. Um, it's super good. In fact, our son would dip his sandwiches in <laughs> his sandwiches into it at his baseball tournaments when he ate lunch he'd just dip them in there that was a fantastic thing to take um on our travel days was to pack uh the spinach hummus and and vegetables and good stuff um anyway i so appreciate you guys for hanging in this long and um again i hope to see you over on the other channel and i'm looking forward to creating in the kitchen for you at Cruise in the Kitchen. Um, we'll see you soon. Take care.